Med Center Health. And the quiet night out at the ballpark right now. Not a lot going on at the moment, but we are expecting those rain showers to eventually push in overnight. Those scattered showers do arrive for Friday. We're also watching the possibility for some patchy dense fog possible this weekend. Talking Saturday and Sunday morning could cause some small travel disruptions in the morning. That does fade away though, with then also a warming trend popping up as well into next week, which I think many will look forward to. Temperatures right now, well, we're sitting pretty chilly right now. We're at 38. We got that east northeast wind at six makes it feel like 33. So there's a bit of wind chill out there. If you do have to head out overnight or in the early in the morning hours, make sure you have a jacket with you. It might be just a touch warm. Doppler Max shows those showers pushing in from the southwest as those continue to push in. They will uh, take over the area and become scattered in nature and then will continue through much of Friday. That system is currently right now making its way right up along the Mississippi River and we'll be here by tomorrow morning. As we look at temperatures across the region, we do have some pretty cold spots. Burksville at 30, but then we also got 37 in BG and 36 over in Madisonville for the time being. Temperatures will kind of stay in that area overnight. Future Max shows those rain showers pushing in by 7 a.m. tomorrow. So as you're waking up, get it, heading out the door, those showers will push in and they do persist through much of Friday, even through 4 p.m. We still see those showers popping up for us. Those eventually do push out by Saturday morning, though. We do have clouds. Something I do want to point out right here, though, this area right here is the potential for some dense fog that we are watching. So some areas could see some reduced visibility on Saturday morning and then also into Sunday morning as well. Saturday, though, afternoon and evening, we do have those clouds overhead. They push out and you see that fill in off to the west. That is that dense fog that we were talking about that is certainly possible to make its way into the area by Sunday afternoon and evening, though. Sunshine does look quite dominant. As we look at future max fog, this is for Saturday morning. Some areas to the west, mostly of near along the 165 corridor, could see some of those reduced visibilities that does clear out for Saturday afternoon and evening. But then Sunday morning, we see that again, some areas approaching a quarter mile visibility or less. It does a push out rain for the next five days. We're looking at a good amount of rainfall for the next couple days. We're not looking at much for Friday, but Monday and Tuesday, certainly watching some chances for some heavier rainfall tonight. Temperatures in the mid thirties, cloudy with those showers approaching by tomorrow. And that warming trend does continue for Saturday and Sunday, even into Monday. And we're still watching a chance for those heavier showers for Tuesday before we cool down into the